Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum class. This is Sumaira Sayyid and today I am here with another very exciting and a practical subject that is the Prasi writing. Why I am saying that it is a practical topic because you have to practice and the practice makes a man perfect. The Prasi is very much important. You know if you are the CSS aspirants, there is a 100 marks paper in which there is a major portion which, which you have to precise, uh, precise a paragraph and give a suitable topic to that. Prasi is not as much difficult as many of the teachers used to train their students that Prasi is a difficult. Prasi needs a practice and this is a P. So you must have a three P's in your life, precise, perfect and practice. And if you will continue precising yourself, practicing yourself, then perfect in doing pra uh, in practicing you can uh, explore uh, every avenues of success in this world so let's continue with the uh, prasi writing you know student prasi is summary or summarizing something let me write you for you is so prasi is summary to summarize something if you precising something you are precise something so let me more elaborate and more lucid for your understanding and uh, pressy is compression so now you will be so amazed to know that when you compress something when you seize something when you shorten something so that only the message is being conveyed and rest of the irrelevant information is decoded is said to be the pressy but now make a very clear differentiation between the pressy uh, and your uh, uh, you may say pressy writing and your paraphrasing why I did not understand why I was little late in telling you because these two words pressy and paraphrasing sometimes confuse me as I was uh, confused for a minute it means that it would confuse you in the examination as well so it was created just for you because uh, pressy is compressing and paraphrasing is to rephrase something what is rephrasing you are writing a sentence and then you are rephrasing that what you are taking all the substance of the sentence but you are not writing that sentence in your own word this is the rephrasing but the press is entirely different from the paraphrasing why because in pressy you have to shorten the length like i must i used to tell my student that one third of the whole paragraph if your paragraph is consisting of uh, 60 words and you have to precise these 60 words then in your examination divide into three it means in 20 words like the 60 words paragraph you have to compose that paragraph in 20 words this is the pressy so let's start that what actually the pressy is important pressy is important uh, because many of you me or our family members or never read whole of the chapters or some of you may when read the newspaper you just read out the headlines and just understand and the perception and predict that what may come next or what may happen next so this is the perception and the prediction and this is the precising of getting any information you are from newspaper or from the book so reading in reading techniques as we studied the steaming and the scanning and the sp sq3 r the, that is the precise writing and the pressy writing because when you precise something it give you the journal idea and the pressy is to give the journal idea by keeping all the basic information which is not vague which is full of information if it is there in any facts and the figures or the charts or the pictures are included in that if you are quoting it in your pressy means your pressy is complete left behind all the complex vocabulary or the or the different sentences which are you working as a sporting sentences the next most important aspect of the pressy is writing of the composition composition when and, and when you write an essay or the paragraph when you are writing something an article the precise uh, reading and the writing of the pre uh, precise writing help you a lot 
as i mentioned that backwards one said that reading makes a full man and writing makes a ready man why he says that a writing make a ready man because if your writing is effective if you if your writing is more uh, precise if your writing is more persuasive if you have it would have an, a better impact on the readers but if your writing would have a jumble mumble idea so it will be the potpourri of irrelevant things it would not create a good impact even you will throw like at a rough piece of paper so that is why the press is important to make your verbal and the written expression more authentic more uh, captivating and more interesting to read many of you have uh, 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 written and uh, listened to the news and read the public notices have you any uh, any of you have read some uh, resignation letters or the appointment letters i would suggest you to read some appointment letters or the rejection letters or the sorry letters or the invitation letters on google you will find out that they did not elaborate or uh, that they do, did not elucidate and they did not exaggerate any word or any sentences in a very brevity in a terseness is, uh, is there and they have they have write and mentioned everything in a very composed and in a precise manner so that is why the press is important and so the formula is very clear that whenever in your examination if you get a paragraph too precise then what you have to do count the word if the words are 60 70 80 100 then divide on to 3 and then you find that the 30 like then 100 words you have to precise the 100 word into the 30 word so this is the technique which is called pressing how would you write the pressing now we will discuss that now pick out your pencil and the papers because these are the very important point that how you would have to precise the 100 word paragraph into the 30 word beta the most important thing is that while the pressing is you have to write in your own words you know in paraphrasing please listen it so carefully that in paraphrasing you just rephrase whole of the subject and the substance of the matter or the content written on the paper and sometimes the paraphrase is more equal to the length or more in length than the original text while in the pressy your precise paragraph must be one third of the original text and you are bound to write the pressy in your own words you cannot copy paste you cannot rewrite it you cannot rewrite the original stuff in your pressy paragraph but you have to one third you have to write on the one third of the original text now give you an example a very simple example uh, the example number 1 is he woke up took tea and started talking about politics so let count the words so i what i wrote he woke up took tea and started talking about the politics the total words which i count is 10 i divided into 3 it becomes a 3 it means that i have to precise the whole of the paragraph into 3 words it would be difficult no let's explore he discussed politics so this is the pressy of three words of these ten words so this is the pressy like he woke up he took tea and started the politics so start so started talking about the politics is the most important thing these are the such quoting sentences and the precise we divided and we wrote write down the most most and most important thing and that is it. there are several example which i will post in your whatsapp group so don't worry and just focus on what we are uh, doing here
The next most important thing is how to precise. First of all, you have to read a paragraph or the passage which is provided in your uh, in your examination uh, uh, question paper. Suppose if you have been provided with a question paper of 130 or 100 175 words, read the paragraph. Read the paragraph. Now, reading speed depends upon you because the more speedily you read, it would less uh, in a, uh, come into your mind. You know, there are two basic things. Sometimes people read so intensively all the pages, all the chapters and all the paragraph, but less come into their mind as now recall the short term memory and the long term memory. In the short term memory, your all reading stuff will be uh, collected in your cerebrum and then it will be removed gradually and because it will not remain in your unconscious. For the long term memory, if you will read with your normal speed and understand by lining the words, the words and all the memories will be remained in your unconscious in a form of the chunks. And this long term memory will help you to solve your pressy if you are doing it for the examination purposes. So now read the paragraph, read the paragraph and underline all the difficult words which you are uh, uh, reading. While now reread the paragraph and find, try to find out the meanings in the context of the paragraph. After finding out the meanings, now you will understand that what is actually the meaning and the hidden meaning of this paragraph. Because the title of the press is very much important. Yeah, here you may, uh, you, can, you may say the politics. Politics is the most suggested para, uh, uh, title of the paragraph. So, read the paragraph, reread the paragraph, find out the difficult meanings of the word and then try to uh, close your eyes and brainstorm that what can be the suitable uh, uh, meaning of this paragraph and then rewrite that paragraph. As I am telling you that the length of the paragraph must be one third of the original text. Do not repeat and do not use the original text in your presses. Do not use the pompous or the high vocabulary. Be concise and very be simple in writing your presses. Make your rough draft, one rough draft, two rough draft, like in a one single go and an attempt you cannot write a good, good pressy even in the examination. When I was attempting my paper of masters in English literature like functional English paper, there was a pressy paragraph of 350 words and I have to write it into 150 words or 175 words. Uh, what I did that after done or after doing all my papers like after completing all the section uh, in the last section I completed my pressy. I read the pressy then reread the pressy then I write down the first rough draft and count the words and then I uh, try to find out that even all the meanings of which the message being conveyed in the paragraph is being conveyed by me. When I find out no, this is not the good paragraph, then I make an, another rough draft. Then later on I make another rough draft. And in the fourth attempt, my rough draft was a complete and a good draft which I uh, transported on my uh, answer sheet. It means that pressy you have to make the few rough draft because if you are not practicing it for uh, Otherwise, if you have practiced your pressy in the at your home, it would be easy for you to make the pressy in the examination hall as well. So, next are the important points which you, you must know that what are the most important points. Number one is that the pressy must be uh, in your own words. Like as I am telling you pre uh, that you cannot rewrite the original text in your pressy. Number two, there must be some connected words and all the sentences must be connected with each other. One sentence must not be like a foreigner sentence. Every sentence must have a connection with an other sentence. The third is that the pressy must be complete and self-contained. What is complete and self-contained? Complete means that all the message which the original author being given in the pressy is copied and understood and now you rewrite that message in your uh, creation as well. So it means self-contained, it must have all the message which was in original text. Now number three is the general meaning and the mes message of the uh, message being conveyed in the pressy uh, passage. Uh, so uh, pressy must not be the copied as I am repeating the same thing again and again. And compression is an art. 
many of you have an ability to compress anything like if you have attended a party or if you have attended some marriage procession you know that how you compress your conversation and convey it to your fellow in a very few possible words so compression is an art and you may compress anything in a, a very simple way if you have an, a grip over one language you can do it more better in urdu language but now you have to practice in english language so let's write down an example and we will practice one of the sentence here and the rest will be provided in our whatsapp group the number one is the clerk who is recently employed one two three four and five five words and tense the clerk who is recently employed so now make down the summary of this try to make it in your paper give me an idea that what can be the most precise sentence of this five words sentence the clerk who is recently employed the clerk who is recently employed the most appropriate phrase of this will be his present clerk or his present employer so in the three words i have precise this five six word sentence so this is an a, a very simplest example of pressy so this was the topic for today and your all the assignments will be provided in your uh, google classroom your slides will be provided in your google classroom and your, your uh, all the topics on which you have to work will be provided in your whatsapp group so stay in touch with all the platform to be evaluated and stay at for the academic scale so this was the lecture for today inshallah come up with some another topic which will be very helpful for you to make your writing more impressive and more competitive Take care. Allah Hafiz.